Nicole Awashish was 18, in labour and about to have a C-section when she signed a form she didn't know would prevent her from getting pregnant again. She told her story to Radio Canada's enquête. Awashish learned what it was a few years later when she wanted to have another child. Her story is one of many emerging across Canada in recent years. A new Quebec study documents the cases of 22 Indigenous women who say they underwent imposed sterilization between 1980 and 2019. Sometimes it was hidden during other procedure. We all, we have a testimony. It was a lady, she was getting an operation for her bladder. And three days later, her doctor says to her, oh, by the way, I performed a, a nysterectomy. When we hear things like that, that uh, people are not believed and, uh, you know, they're, they're not heard and they don't have that voice. And, uh, you know, we wanted to give that voice to the women. A Senate report on forced and coerced sterilization earlier this year pointed to its long history in Canada and records indicating disproportionate targeting of First Nations, Métis and Inuit women. I would say that it adds to the chorus. Elisa Lombard is a lawyer in a proposed class action suit that began in Saskatchewan. She's heard from more than 100 Indigenous women in Canada with a range of allegations around forced sterilization. Any remedy that can come about, no matter how financially significant, um, will not fix what has been lost. But what we can do is um, correct the system. The Quebec report recommends all organizations listen to and believe women who speak out about imposed sterilization and that the Quebec government recognize systemic racism. The province's health and Indigenous affairs minister said what the women in the report described is unacceptable and that they'll look into the findings. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.